Hello, this is Patrick with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. And this is the all new 2015 Airstream International Signature 27 FB, which stands for Front Bedroom. This trailer comes standard with an electric hitch jack to raise and lower the front of the trailer. This hitch jack also has a, a light to illuminate the hitch area at night. It has a level built into the top that you can calibrate. Once you get the trailer level for the first time, you could tighten the three screws so the bubble is in the middle. And then from that point forward, uh, you could look at this to see if the trailer is level. The cap comes off the top and allows you to manually operate the hitch jack in case you have fuse failure, battery failure, or jack failure. There's two 30 pound propane tanks. They're steel bottles with a sight gauge. You could switch manually from left to right, or you could uh, leave it so it automatically switches from left to right bottle. This wing nut comes off this threaded rod to remove the bottle cover so you could take your propane bottles out to get them filled. We have two deep cycle. Interstate Group 24 Series batteries. Colonial Airstream includes a battery lock on all the battery boxes. There's a front storage compartment which is lockable, insulated, and weather sealed. So one lock here. A lock here. Diamond plated. There's a light inside. This is the 50 amp power core because this particular trailer is equipped with the uh, second air conditioner and Airstream gives you the 30 amp to 50 amp dog bone adapter which will allow you to only run one air conditioner if you're just hooked up to 30 amp service at a campground. The Airstream trailer includes a propane quick disconnect port so if you got a low pressure barbecue grill you can hook it into the propane system without having to undo your propane tanks. This is a box frame trailer, not a C channel, so it's a very rigid frame structure. It's all powder coated, so this paint is designed to last a very long time. This trailer has stainless steel wrap protectors that are hingeable. They allow you to clean leaves and debris out from behind the rock guard by taking the three nuts off. Now why is there a gap here? That allows some deflection. If you hit some road debris and it hits the stainless steel, it'll allow it to bounce in and bounce back without denting the body behind. And stainless steel is much more tougher than aluminum body. You have solar stone guards up front. There's two tethers that you can remove. And you can lift the rock guard up and uh, tighten the uh, thumb screw here on each side and you can adjust your height, which of them allow you to open the window from behind. The uh, so, uh, curved solar stone guard is removable for, so you can clean the glass behind by taking a Phillips head screwdriver on this trailer, turning a quarter turn, that will undo the rock guard so you can swing it out and lift it off. LED lighting on the exterior. You have the VIN plate with the tire information. The trailer has four stabilizer jacks, all four corners. Spare tire with steel wheel, 225-75R15, Goodyear Marathon, load range Ds, are throughout the trailer. You have a waste hose storage tube. We have waste gates for our black tank, which is called the main tank and our gray tank, which is called auxiliary wash. There's a light outside to illuminate this area at night. When you take the cap off, the procedure is to snap on your waste hose, empty the black tank, solids will come through, which will contaminate your waste hose. After that's done draining, you could open your gray tank, auxiliary wash, 
which is your sink and shower waste, which will wash out your waste hose. In addition to this, periodically, maybe after you're done with your trip, before you bring the trailer back into storage, you could hook up a garden hose to this fitting right here, which is your sore flusher. Just make sure you never get this and this confused. This is a city water connection. This is the black tank flush or sewer flusher. You open up the black tank, hook up a garden hose to this fitting. Inside the tank, under pressure, we'll spray the walls of the tank down to get the residual waste out. And this is remote wastegate system on the front bedroom models. So none of the uh, mechanicals that operate the, the wastegates or the discharge are exposed outside. They're all in this heated tank, which is heated by forced hot air using your propane furnace. Other models and other manufacturers have a black ABS pipe that wires together with the wastegates on the outside, which uh, are vulnerable to freezing if you're below um, uh, the, the freezing threshold. This trailer gives you a higher threshold protection because it's a remote wastegate system. You have an outside utility shower, which has hot and cold water. Hot and cold. You can hang the wand up from here and it pulls out approximately three foot. We have a 39 gallon fresh water tank. So you can loosely put the hose in here. It will fill the uh, fresh water tank, air or relief out of this valve here. And right between the axles is the drain for that tank. We have the city water connection that bypasses your fresh water tank because there's a check valve built into the water pump to give you city water pressure to every one of your faucets and toilet inside the trailer. This also has a water pressure regulator built into it to protect your trailer against high water pressure, whether it's at night when no one's using any of the water facilities at the campground and the pressure rises, or if there's a spike in water pressure due to a problem at the campground. You have cable and satellite uh, connection on the outside of the trailer. Your 50 amp power cord connection. Refrigerator ventilation system allows fresh air in behind the refrigerator, allows its exhaust up through the roof. It's a sealed compartment. We have your window awning package. This one's equipped with, it's an option. This just rolls up, it's metal wrapped. So if you are to pull into a campsite and you scuff up against a tree branch, it's not gonna tear your awning open. It's a rubber torsion axle, Dexter axle system, never lube hub assembly, never adjusting brakes and each wheel has its own shock absorber. Very low center of gravity on an airship travel trailer. There's nothing else in the uh, RV industry that will tow like an airstream travel trailer. This is your furnace and the furnace exhaust. All the windows that open have a gutter rail, extruded aluminum gutter rail over the top of them. It's all riveted in place. Airstream does a beautiful job with their windows. LED taillights with cast aluminum housings. Rear bumper storage. Lid lifts up. Diamond plating inside. Blocks of wood, wheel chocks. Anything that has ground contact that might be wet or dirty, instead of throwing it in your front trunk compartment, you can throw it in the rear bumper storage. And this is a polished aluminum bumper. It's gorgeous. It says the rear window awning option is part of the awning package from the factory. You have a bifold steel step. Another stabilizer jack. We also have a fully wrapped and enclosed underbelly on all the Airstream travel trailers built today. Deadbolt in the entry door and a heavy duty metal 
door lock assembly. I have about eight man hours into manufacturing each and every one of the entry doors. I, I consider it art. There's so much love that goes into these Airstream travel trailers when they're built and you can see it in just the overall construction. That's why about 70% of the Airstreams ever made since 1931 are still in the road and still in use today. Screen door is TIG welded in place. And the entry door has a window on all models except for the Sport. And you have the signature bank vault shut. Above the door on an International is an LED light. On a flying cloud it will have a spotlight on the side. There's a catch here to catch the entry door when it opens so it doesn't blow around in the wind. We have a cooktop ventilation system. A little lock so when you're traveling or in storage it won't open. The main awning goes out about 8 foot. It's approximately an 18 foot long awning. Sunbrella material. Metal wrapped. You have an outside GFCI protected electrical outlet. The water heater is the Atwood XT series gas electric. Gives you 9 gallons continuous flow of hot water. Using a 6 gallon reservoir which will preheat the water before it brings it into the tank and then superheats it once it's inside the tank. And this is the International Signature Series. The difference between an International Signature or Serenity is strictly decor. Same floor plans, same feature level, just different interior decor. That also goes to Flying Cloud. Flying Cloud has the same floor plan but they offer it with twin beds or queen laminate cabinets, oh, I'm sorry, laminate countertops where the International Signature and Serenity will have Corian for 2015. Okay, let's uh, go inside the trailer and continue our tour. Okay, inside the trailer, see we have a, an off-white laminate on this curve, radius curved plywood cabinet. Have some LED lighting. Acrylic sliding backlit cabinets. Lined in aluminum behind. Blu-ray player. Play CDs and DVDs as well. USB charge connections. Regular electrical outlet. Inverter outlet. This has a 1000 watt inverter option. Well, to convert your electricity, your battery juice, into electricity, so when you're not plugged in, you could use the Blu-ray. You can unplug the Blu-ray and plug it into an inverter. Um, there's one next to each one of the televisions. There's also one under the dinette. So if you were to plug in a laptop, you would be able to under there. AM, FM, stereo. Four, uh, four speakers and one subwoofer. So there's one here, one here. There's two in the bedroom. And there's a subwoofer down on the floor. This is equipped with the optional Oyster Ultra Leather. There's also espresso and salsa. Wooden box drawers. This is all plywood with laminate. No particle board, no stickers. The International Signature uses this style floor. It's a blonde color laminate, one continuous sheet and the ebony laminate on the cabinetry. You have storage below the lounge. This is a 66 inch long lounge, which makes into a bed. And you have storage under this dinette bench. Ocean Air roller shades are standard. And your Vista view windows have their own shades as well. We have a fantastic fan, which has a rain sensor built in to close the lid by power when it rains. Thermostat control to control the fan. Fan speed. You could disable just the fan blade. You can open and close the lid from here. And the lid, obviously the screen also has a quick release for maintenance. You have a skylight in the galley with shade.
There's also a skylight in the bath with shade. 28 inch LED Samsung television. Seven cubic foot automatic two way runs on gas or electric. Dometic refrigerator. Wardrobe storage with light. They build in an access panel to get to the plumbing for the bathroom if ever needed to be for the shower repaired. Below, we have a furnace duct and a propane leak detector. Behind here, we gain access to the water pump for maintenance. Shower is a glass door. It's fiberglass, features a clothesline, bathroom fan, LED light, shower wand, and a shower diverter. There's thick fiberglass, and there's a, about a two inch overlap between the seams, so you don't have to worry about water rolling behind here. It's also caulked. There's a travel lock to keep it shut when you're towing and a light switch for inside the shower. For 2015, all 25 foot Airstreams and above have ducted air conditioning. We have some intakes and our discharges. And they go throughout the trailer and this also has the second air conditioning in the bedroom, which upgrades the electrical service from 30 amps to 50 amps and it will delete the fantastic fan that is standard in the bedroom. It also deletes the generator prep port. Normally with a single AC you'd have a 30 amp power connection in the front of the trailer so you could hook in a generator. You could still do that with the 50 amp service. The port is on the middle of the trailer on the side. We have Corian countertops in the galley. Sink cover, some people use as a cutting board. Deep bowl, stainless steel sink, a growy faucet with pull out. Guys, this is really, really nice stuff. This is an elegant faucet used in a RV camping product. You don't see too many manufacturers use this high quality stuff, but it is standard on all International Signature and Serenity models. Two light switches, one's for the lights over the sink area, and one is for your accent lights in the cabinet. We could turn on and off the inverter from here. We have an electrical outlet, and we could also turn on the water pump and monitor battery juice, fresh water, gray water, or black water with the sea level two monitoring system, which is standard for 2015. Three burner cooktop, front is your high output. Gas oven. Range, stainless steel range cover, gives you some more counter space, light over the cooktop, and a fan. All the drawers are full extension, they even give you the silverware sorter. Behind here is the wheel well, just like the bed of a pickup truck. Instead of covering this, Airstream does put a door so you can utilize it for some type of storage. We have the battery converter charger, which also houses your fuses and breakers. All your breakers, your main 50 amp breaker, GFCI reset, and then we have the converter charger, which also houses your 12 volt fuses for lights, water pump, stereo, anything that runs off the 12 volt system. We have a slide out pantry. Slide out microwave, 0.08 cubic foot, and additional pantry storage. There's a privacy curtain that shuts the hallway down. So if you're utilizing the shower, you have some privacy. Really, really cool porthole window in the bathroom door. Adds a lot of character to the trailer. There's also a second privacy curtain. 
separates the bath there from the bedroom. In the bathroom, stainless steel sink, another beautiful faucet, storage above, towel bar, hand towel bar, gas electric water heater, and ceiling lights. Also have an air conditioning duct in here and a bathroom fan. Toilet is a china bowl, plastic lid, toilet paper holder is inside the cabinet. There's another cabinet down below. Furnace duct on the floor, more storage, and we have access to get to the water heater for winterization or maintenance. Also, a uh, bathrobe hook on the bath back of the bathroom door. In the bedroom, we have a RV Short Queen 60 by 75. There's a pillow top memory foam mattress. Airstream uses really, really good mattresses in their production models. It's close to residential quality as we could get within reason. Bed lifts up, the matic props to get to the storage underneath. You see it's all plywood with laminate, no stickers, no particle board, pocket hole screws to hold joints together, which is very strong and stable. There's a radius curved piece of plywood. And the flooring goes throughout. This is one sheet of, of laminate floor that goes throughout the whole trailer. All the furniture gets carried in afterwards and put on top. We have two nightstands, one on each side of the bed. It's also electrical outlet on either side of the bed. Directional reading lights that are LED. Front window opens all the way out. Curved windows don't open. Side windows, just pull the handle, twist, pull, twist, and lift. And then once you get to your height, you just snap it into the groove. There's three different heights you could use from. Windows are also safety glass and they are tinted. You have another ocean air shade to give you privacy. Seeing the lights in the bedroom and galley are dimmable. We have your comfort control center that allow you to control both zones of air conditioning, both zones of heat pump, single zone of force head air propane furnace, and the fan blowers inside the AC unit. It will also allow you to see what your inside temperature is. Next I'm going to show you how to dinette and the lounge fold into beds on this model. Okay, I'm going to show you how uh, the dinette folds into a bed as well as the lounge. Let's remove the top cushions and pillows. Lift up the bottom cushions. They are velcroed in so they don't slip off. And you're going to lift the table up. There's little cleats in the wall that you hook into. Push the button down on the leg. Tuck it up. It swings down. Lays on top of the two benches. There's a little rubber grommet to keep it from moving side to side. Lay back down your cushions. Take the backrest of the bolster cushion off. And you have a bed. This is good enough to sleep two adults. If you take the backrest off the lounge, lean up against the wall, now you could make this part the lounge to make it easier to watch the television, a little bit more comfortable position. Okay, to convert a 66 inch lounge into a bed, you could do three different things. You can remove the cushions, and there's a bed large enough for one adult or one child. You could extend this out slightly, and remove the two pieces on the back side of the bolster, lay those down, and you have a bed that's a little bit wider, for two kids, there's enough room to walk through this hallway, cook, traffic in and out. And the third way 
is to take the backrest of the bolster, which will extend the cushions out a little bit further and over the over the edge to make a bed that you can sleep two adults. And you can still get by, you just have to squeeze through slightly. So you decide. Hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, this is a brand new 2015 Airstream International Signature Series. It is for sale at Colonial Airstream. Our telephone number is 1-800-265-9019. And our website is www.colonialairstream.com. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video.